Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I've got a really special video for you. It's part of a massive collaboration organized by Miss Unfortunate and Erin with a Y. And you're also in with the chance of winning a stuff pack of your choice. You just need to follow the rules and vote, I believe. All the information for that will be down in the description below, but I'll get into that in a little bit later. But first, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to both of the Simmers who organized this collab because they're both absolutely amazing. I knew Miss Unfortunate before the collab and she approached me and she's always so supportive um, of other Simmers videos. I know she watches loads and loads of your videos as well as mine, but she's also an amazing creator herself. She's an amazing builder and she has great Let's Plays as well. But Erin of the Y was new to me during this collab and I have since found her channel and seen that she creates amazing, well, lots of massive houses in The Sims, big builds like mansions and things like that. And they're so impressive. So please go and check her out especially but yeah so the challenge is that we each have to create one sim and then a room that reflects that sim and then each of our rooms are going to be put into a big mansion that Erin has created and it's absolutely amazing you guys it's so impressive and I believe Erin will be posting on her gallery but a few other people might be doing that as well so maybe just have a look at a few of their gallery IDs in case just to be sure I'll link everyone's information down in the description box below but this is actually a competition collab so please make sure that you vote on not only my video but also all of the other competitors videos as well because that means that you are going to be able to to win a stuff pack of your choice the steps are down in the description and so are all the links to all of the competitors youtube channels so please 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 check them out and support them don't just comment on mine make sure that you go and support everyone's videos as well because the point of this collaboration is basically just to get to know more simmers um, and networks so yeah we'd love you to do that and i must say this is a talented bunch like <laughs> there are some absolutely amazing builders that have been included in this list so please go and check them out but now I'll start talking about my sim that I'm creating at the minute well I actually made my room first before the sim and then based the sim off the room we were bound by dimensions of the room and there were going to be windows in certain places and obviously doors in certain places so I was restricted in terms of that so I was given the spa slash gym room and I decided to go with a spa because I really wanted to make well well, it was inspired by a communal, a Japanese communal bath that turned into a small spa that you would find in someone's house. So the colours were basically lots of neutral tones, some dark wood in there as well, and basically just really minimalistic and clean and modern. So the sim I made, she's called Amy Ito, and she is obviously supposed to be Japanese, and I chose her name Amy because because, well, from what I could see from my quick Google search of Japanese names, it meant beautiful love. So I thought that was really sweet and a really pretty name. So I called her Amy. But you can see I started dressing her in CC because I basically I started making her just as I downloaded a load of new CC from my friend Tink's Tumblr. So I may, if I have room in the description, because it's going to be pretty full from this competition. But if I have room, I'll link Tink's channel down below. I'll maybe pin her Tumblr to a comment because she's got some amazing CC that I just basically stole and then yeah I got excited using it and so I just tried it out in this sim but I do eventually go back and delete all of the CC because the competition rules say we're not allowed any CC so no CC eyelashes either which is a bit upsetting for me I hate creating sims without CC eyelashes I don't use very much CC at all in my sims typically I like to keep things as max as match as possible but I do tend to have a few CC items and I always have CC eyelashes so this one is hard for me but yeah so the character I had in mind for Amy was that she would be quite a creative sim but also interested in the natural world and is very tranquil because obviously I had a spa in mind as her room so but also she's interested in the natural world so I had like her inspiration being I think it was to do with nature I can't remember exactly what it was called but she's creative she's a green fiend and she loves the outdoors and I just thought I had in mind that she would be like a nature photographer I am partly stealing that idea from another simmer that I saw a Kaz video of I think her name is Sweet Tea Simmer who I absolutely love she creates amazing Kaz videos and 
she created a gorgeous natural photographer sim in one of her videos but that's who I had in mind and I dressed her in basically outfits that I thought reflected the visual style of the room that I had already built so lots of browns whites and creams and yeah just very simple classic cuts and classic pieces that are just timeless you know her shoes are pretty simple flat comfortable shoes so everything is quite minimalistic simple but beautiful and elegant and I thought that was quite fitting for the type of room that I had chosen to do so now you'll see I'm just taking out all of the cc that I had previously gone with and just switching it out for some different maxis items that dress that summer dress that I had put her in I thought was absolutely gorgeous gorgeous and so perfect for her because I did dress her slightly modestly like she does have a few crop tops but a lot of the skirts that I put her in are quite long or she's either got long skirts or skirts with tights so yeah I thought that was a really pretty dress we don't have many pretty dresses in the sims that are actually quite long as well so I was sad to lose that in the cc but I think she turned out okay and I'll add some screenshots in the video and then we'll go into build and buy mode for the room speed build Okay, so when I was building this room, I actually pre-built it and then rebuilt it again because because I wanted to get it right and I wanted to have a clear concept in mind quite often when I build things it's just well it's not unprepared I usually plan things out but I do improvise quite a lot of <laughs> what I build and I'm trying to change that I'm trying to plan things a lot more and think about builds that I think will look really really impressive obviously I'm going to get more views that way if I have really impressive builds but yeah so here you can see that I have created a big well it's I used the pool tool to create a big bath like I said it was inspired by Japanese communal bars and obviously this is not communal it's not a public space it's in someone's house technically but I thought this room could definitely still be used as a spa in someone's house it would just be very very bougie to have something like this in someone's house so you could see I added those areas with the plants in well to link it to my character because she like I said was really interested in nature and the outdoors but also like when I was searching for images of Japanese communal baths they quite often had areas like that with vegetation behind glass so I thought that would be a cute idea to include and you can see that I also added like a little shower area next to the pool because I tried to do my research um, so correct me if I'm wrong but I believe in Japanese communal baths you are very much expected to have a thorough shower and they have these showers like this so they're reasonably exposed within the room next to the bath or pool and you're expected to wash your body very thoroughly before you go into the communal pool just out of politeness um, to make sure that you're not like getting your gross dirt in the water that everyone is going to share which is completely fair enough but also it's really important that you sit down I think when you shower it's really rude to stand up and shower so I made sure to add like a little stool by the shower as well and I think something else that I read was it's really rude to splash people with water whilst you're doing this so <laughs> just as an FYI if you're ever in Japan and then here you can see that I'm adding these waterfalls objects into the room and I absolutely really love them but they won't end up being in the build that you will get to download because 
basically for some reason even though they're objects that are designed specifically for this wall height they still clip up into the next room and I basically figured that they would ruin the person's room who would be above mine so I thought that was a bit unfair so I switched them out and you'll see me go in and do it in the video but I switched them out for those eco lifestyle dividers I think they're like the plant dividers they're really pretty I think they work well in the space too but I definitely would have preferred these waterfall objects but no matter and there's also a sauna area as you can see so very bougie if you were to have this in your house your own personal sauna your own personal pool essentially your indoor pools and then up here you can see that I'm adding fountains and I thought they were a really cute touch and at the end of the build I go in and just record a little bit of the water flowing so you can see what the animations look like in game and I think it's very relaxing very calming and I was quite happy with it in the end so please let me know what you think down below Below in the comments please be sure to vote as well because I am in with a chance of winning a stuff pack of my choice I mean personally I could get a stuff pack I don't have three I don't have luxury party I don't have the Halloween one spooky stuff is it and I don't have the hot tub pack I can't remember what that one's called either but I don't really want them <laughs> I might wait until a sale's on and get them myself but basically if I win I will gift my stuffed pack to another participant in the collab and that's already been discussed as a possibility so that's absolutely fine but I would like the pride of winning so if you guys would please vote for me down below then that would be great the rules are in the description so please go and do that like I said please go and check out all of the other competitors builds and especially give loads and loads of love to Miss Unfortunate and Erin of the Y because they are amazing and I'm so thankful to be a part of this collab but yeah that was it I hope you liked what I created thank you so much for watching I'll see you all next time bye guys